And things are hitting us here and things are hitting us here. And we think we're going to die and we just want to fall down and cry and we just want to give up. But now we've been walking on the road so long that we know without him we would perish. Now the road is going through a lake of fire and the road is going through an ocean and we can't swim. We know that if we step off, we're going to die instantly. What do you do except keep pressing on? Then sometimes we find ourselves, okay, God, all right, I'm going to be smarter than you. I'm going to stay on the road. But what I'm going to do, see, I'm going to walk backwards. I'm still on the road, but I'm going to walk backwards. God is saying, there's still only one way. Your path is still laid out for you. Your steps are still ordered. So every time you take a step back, you're prolonging this thing for yourself. So then we say, all right, I learned that lesson. Learned that lesson in 1994. I ain't going to go backwards no more. I'm going to stay in the will of God, but I'm not ready to move forward. So I'm, I think I'm just going to stay right here. I like this spot. I'm going to stay right here. I know it's crazy that's going on. And I know God is pushing me forward, but I'm just going to buy some time. I'm going to ask a whole lot of questions and buy time. Lord, I know that you are pushing me to pray and to intercede, but I don't want to take all that junk on me right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to learn about prayer. I'm going to get a degree in prayerology. Then, Lord God, I'm going to go and I'm going to find out about counseling. I'm going to let everybody lay hands on me and pray first. I'm going to stay right here and get all I can get because, God, I'm just trying to do this for you. You stay right there. And God is saying, that's all right. But your steps are still ordered. Remember that same scripture that we all shouted over? Oh, yes, my steps are ordered by the Lord. Even Fred Hammond had a number one hit. My steps are ordered. Order, y'all remember that? We were all excited. Yeah, hallelujah. But then when God says step, Jesus. we like, really, Lord? You sure? <laughs> all that yellow brick road. Stephen's road at the end of it because he found that the Holy Spirit was pushing him. He found himself amongst people that hated everything that he said. But he got to a place on that road where he was so full of the Spirit and he knew the truth and he was so convinced of what the truth was that he found himself not even able to shut his mouth. It was bubbling over on the inside of him. Just like Jeremiah said, it was like a fire on the inside and he just couldn't shut it down. And even though he knew it was going to drive him to death, he still had to tell them, no, you need to repent. I understand that you're caught up in the law, but you even transgressed the law. Remember Moses and all that he had to go through. Remember all the stuff that you did and you missed it. I'm telling you, repent, repent, repent. And as the stone started flying, all he could do was keep his eyes on the promise of God and it cost him his life there's so many days that I want to go to a church and hear somebody preach me at me you're going to get this and you're going to get that you're going to make a name for yourself God is going to put your name in lights but that's not what it's about we get one life one opportunity on this earth to be obedient and make a difference. But my reward is not here. I don't care. My reward is not here. Your reward is not here. And if we continue to look for God to glorify us here, you're going to die very disappointed and in disobedience. This is a sacrifice. All of this it's going to turn to dust. One day, nobody's going to know who Joy Allen is. But my prayer is that when I leave this world, I can sit in his presence and he'll say, well done. That's a greater accomplishment than the education that I could have ever gotten. That's a better accomplishment than all the money in the world. That's the truth of ministry. The Holy Spirit will push you to your death. And I believe that even though Stephen was in pain, even though he was persecuted, he was happy. He was at peace. Because I know some people that have everything, that are surrounded by wonderful friends, all the money in the world, the house that they want, the clothes that they want, but there's no